Hi everyone, so the various eye drops in ophthalmology discussions are as follows. As you all know that in uh, we are using eye drops for the uh, for the patients who have some symptoms like redness, burning, burning sensation, itching, and the uh, most uh, congestion type situation na, in the eye. So if we are using these eye drops we have some categories for it first is lubricating drops second is antibiotic and uh, uh, more probably we use the antiviral also antiviral drugs or steroids so these are some drugs which we use for the prescription uh, of to the patient for relieving uh, them from uh, relieving them from the pain of the symptoms like redness itching burning sensation increased light sensitivity these are some symptoms which are really need to be treated with the eye drops so we uh, start from the lubricating drops lubricating drops uses the it is used to relieve dry eye relief from eye burning and irritation used not more than four times a day it is not used more than four times a day uh, as if the patient is using it for more than four times a day there are some side effects eye irritation or redness for more than 72 hours eye pain allergic reactions okay sometimes these side effects uh, will be seen in a patient after applying the medication okay so make the patient uh, comfortable with all these things by telling with all these things and you should counsel the patient first uh, before applying the medication okay so now the various lubricating drops these are some composition uh, of the lubricating drops as you all know that we need to learn about the composition also i am not going to say these component composition because it got too long as uh, you will understand this by taking a screenshot of this of this page so the first lubricating drops is refreshed air second is refreshed liquid gel third is add tears these are some examples that we provide to the patient as a lubricating drops tear plus hyla soft drops moistain oasis optive genital hypotears okay and the genital is only the eye drop that is used as gel also and the eye drop also okay so this is these are the various lubricating drops you should learn the composition by taking a screenshot of this page now moving forward to the antibiotics antibiotics is used to prevent bacterial eye infection it contains neomycin bacitracin and polymyxin okay also contain hydrocortisone these are some uh, composition of the of all the bacterial uh, of all the antibacterial drugs okay so hydrocortisone is used as anti-inflammatory corticosteroids that reduce the swelling in eye if some if some patient uh, or if a patient is uh, coming in front of you with having a swelling in eye then you should see that if there is any infection present or not first you have to see that which type of bacteria uh, which type of infection is there bacterial viral or any other infection so it may cause swelling in the eye that will be relieved by antibiotics side effects of antibiotics are as follows skin rash contact dermatitis dermatitis means uh, if someone is uh, rubbing his or her eyes after having the bacterial infection or any other infection then it would uh, be contacted with the skin okay uh, he or she is uh, getting infected by touching his eyes and that infection got uh, got in contact with others also so the third side effect is eye inflammation fourth one is itching in eye and fifth one is redness in eye now the antibiotics various eye drops are used as antibiotics the first one is moxifloxin you should learn the composition by taking the screenshot i won't tell you uh, more in more times or 
सेकेंड वन इज सिप्लोफ्लॉक्सिन थर्ड वन इज स्टेंटामाइसिन फोर्थ वन इज विगामॉक्स फिफ्थ वन इज टोब्रामाइसिन एंड सिक्स वन इज सिप्लॉक्स सेवेंथ वन इज मोसी दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक्स ड्रग्स नाउ the steroids steroids as you can see in the images also i have prepared the images that will make you understand about the symptoms where you have to use the steroids the antibiotics and the lubricant drops so the steroids is used to treat swelling redness allergic reactions the side effects of steroids is cloudy vision increased sensitivity to light cloudy vision means the blurring of vision and you should not see properly after applying the steroids to a uh, after applying the steroids so the cloudy vision is a first side effect second one is increased sensitivity to light visual disturbance is there foreign body sensation is there something uh, you should uh, the patient is uh, can feel that something is there in his you know in his or her eyes so stinging and burning sensation is there itching irritation for 1 to 2 minute after applying the medication these are the side effects of steroids and where you have used steroids to treat the swelling redness and allergic reactions now the steroids eye drops first is fml fml is fluoromethylone okay and fmlt is fluoromethylone tobramycin now ozurudex lotemex pretfort flarex prednisol lotepred so these are some steroids you use when a patient is having swelling redness etc okay now the anti allergies anti allergies means these are the anti histamines and decongestant combination of eye drops anti allergic eye drops are uh, the combination of anti histamines and decongestant combination of eye drops these reduce the eye itching watering in eyes and redness as you can see in the picture these three symptoms are very uh, clearly visible so reduce it reduce the eye itching watering in eyes and redness the side effects of anti allergies are stinging burning sensation irritation headaches stuffy running nose increase light sensitivity so these are the side effects and where you have used the anti allergies when you, when the patient is experiencing the itching watering in eyes and redness the anti allergy drops is ketotifen that is also known as zediata and ketorolac olapatadine acupat nephrozolin so these are the anti allergies you have to uh, prescribe to a patient when the patient is having uh, or experiencing the itching watering and redness now the antiviral antiviral drugs or medications are used to treat infection caused by viruses you should see in the slit lamp that what type of infection is there or any uh, testing that is required for testing the infection in the eye so these antiviral if the patient is experiencing like this as you can see in the picture then they stop uh, then we use antiviral medication here and they stop the viruses from spreading or multiplying as you all know that bacteria fungal and viral got multiply so these medications stop them uh from spreading or multiplying the eye ointments or drops more probably in antiviral condition we use the eye ointments and uh, that used to treat the simple viral eye infection the side effects of antiviral are as follows severe redness swelling and irritation of eye or eyelids swelling of eyelids lips or face difficulty breathing difficulty in breathing and rash on the screen skin so these are the side effects of antiviral medications uh hope you all understand about antiviral medications and now the antiviral medication is acyclovir virgen trifluoridin so these are the eye drops you used as antiviral medication the acyclovir is used as an eye ointment that is uh, that may be applied as first pull down the lower lid of an eye of that patient who is having the viral infection and squeeze about half a centimeter into each eye okay and the virgen is also an gencyclovir eye gel 
Trifluoridin is most important in antiviral as more of the patient come with the herpes virus that is the anti herpes drug trifluoridin is the anti herpes drug antiviral drug that is used primarily on the eye hope you all understand about these things and thank you so much for giving your precious time